evacuations for the Stone Canyon fire. That's the one burning near Lyons ordered yesterday. Yeah, so this one sparked up yesterday afternoon. Fox 31's Greg Perez live in Boulder County for us monitoring the situation there. Greg. Good morning, Ashley. Yeah, as you can see behind me, plumes of smoke continue to billow up into the atmosphere as the Stone Canyon fire continues to rip through portions of Boulder County. I'm outside of Lyons right now, and you can see behind me just how heavy and thick that smoke is causing all sorts of problems. As of 9 p.m. last night, fire crews said that the Stone Canyon fire was still 0% contained and two structures were confirmed to be lost as well. And actually, we saw some of the flames coming up from those fires and possibly pushing into the other side of the mountain. So the fire grew last night to over 1,300 acres. Response efforts have included more than 100 firefighters on the ground from a dozen different agencies and multiple air tankers. Mandatory evacuations were issued for parts of the town of Lyons, including for those living east of Fifth Avenue and north of Broadway. The dry, hot and windy conditions, unfortunately, were not much of a help yesterday either. I am sorry this is happening in your community. Um, you know, I have been on pins and needles since 1030 yesterday when the Alexander fire kicked off, knowing that conditions are really ripe for bat fire. And we're going to do everything we can to stop this fire. Now, late last night, an evacuation warning was issued for residents on Highway 36 north of Lyons to Apple Valley Road, and officials are asking residents in the warning area to prepare to take action. Evacuees can go to 1380 North Denver Avenue in Loveland for any fire impacted residents who need a place to stay. Now, the evacuation point at the Boulder County Fairgrounds ended up being closed at around 11 p.m. That was all because of low community needs, so that's no longer available. The only available place is 1380. North Denver Avenue in Loveland if you do need those resources. But again, we haven't heard a whole lot this morning about the progress that they were able to make overnight. Uh, we haven't seen a whole lot of crews outside of Lyons. We were just there, or I, I should say we were just outside of Lyons about an hour ago, and we did see a good amount of rescue vehicles, but they were mainly just blocking roads to get into those upper elevations where the uh, wildfire is currently burning. So as of this morning, not a whole lot to update you on, but still a very dangerous fire burning out here near Lyons. Reporting on uh, westbound 36 in Lyons, Greg Perez, Fox 31 News.